I am nothing now. Simply just a floating voice in the void. Soon, I'll join the others. The ones who thought they could also cheat time. I'll join the cacophony of screams. But before that, let's talk about gay horses for a moment. Look at Bata! The whole organization is actually LGBTQIA++, but for the sakes of this video, and for the sake of not making an hour-long video, I'm going to be talking about the first four letters. L stands for lesbian, as G stands for gay, bisexual, and trans. Believe it or not, in My Little Pony, the first two letters are officially kinda represented in the show. Trans is a little bit of a mystery, and bisexuality is pretty much non-existent. But, for now, let's just go down the list. Remember, I'm only talking about relationships only shown explicitly in the show. If it's a sort of wink-wink, nudge-nudge, I'll mention it, but viewers need to understand that your personal headcanons are not actually canon. They're personal. I get way too many people who genuinely believe their fan theories are 100% fact, and are honestly quite rude about it. Hold off on leaving a comment until the end of the video, please. Without further ado, let's get into the first letter. <laughs> L for lesbian, as taken straight from Wikipedia, is a homosexual woman, or in this case, mare. Believe it or not, in this kids TV show, about 90% of the characters shown on screen are mares. Which kind of makes you question the gender imbalance in Equestria. You think it's bad on Earth? Wait until the tables aren't just flipped, but cut and burned into a pile of ash. What was I saying? Oh, yeah, right, gay ponies. In the earlier seasons of My Little Pony, two characters were shown sitting next to one another. Both of them, at the time, were unnamed. But through fandom turning official, we now know their names as Lyra Heartstrings and Bon Bon. Sometimes she's also known as Sweetie Jobs, but that's a different story. And if you were paying attention two sentences ago, you might have noticed how all I said was that they were sitting together. The internet being the internet in 2011, that's really all it took for the shipping to happen. Plus, just look at how Lyra's sitting. They were destined to be a couple. Like I said, it didn't take very long for the shippening to commence, and pretty much every instance of Lyra and Bon Bon in fandom works ended with them being romantically engaged. How did Hasbro deal with this sudden shippening? Well, they didn't do anything for the first eight years, but in the season finale, they proposed and had a wedding. That's cool, but also gave My Little Pony a mature rating in Russia. What is going on over there? Now, I know what you're all thinking. That's cool and all, but what about Rainbow Dash and Applejack? <laughs> I'm saving that for the end, because there is a lot to unpack with that power couple. The next letter is G, for gay. But wait, wasn't lesbian just gay woman? Why isn't that the same thing? Truth is, I don't know, and because I think it's funnier if I don't know, I'm not going to Google it. Instead, this letter is dedicated to gay stallions in the show, and truthfully, there really isn't a lot in the way of gay stallions. After all, remember, like I said, 90% of all characters in the show are women, so there is 90% less chance for men. I say that, but there is one singular example of gay stallions in the show. Two characters, one by the name of Starbright and one by the name of Silver Script. They are shown for about five seconds in the season seven episode Triple Threat. They appear to be in a home as Spike asks whether or not they have a friendship problem. And come on, you cannot look at these expressions and tell me they're just friends. Outside of this singular example, it's pretty hard to find any actual gay representation in the show. Of course, don't get me started on the hundreds of gay headcanons. I mean, just Spike alone. Oh my god, why are there so many? But like I said, in the actual show itself, these two ponies giving each other lovey-dovey eyes is the absolute best example I can find. Next up is B for bisexual. If G was pretty lacking, then B is even more lacking. I don't even know what to say for this one. Bisexuality is where someone is attracted to both males and females. I did not use Wikipedia for that definition. And by the nature of My Little Pony, characters are not going to be very explicit nor forthcoming about anything. If a male character is going on a date with a female character, then there is absolutely no telling whether either of them is bisexual. Take, for instance, Silver Script, the pony I chose for the G category. Here he is on a date with a Pegasus named Parcel in the season one episode Hearts and Hooves Day. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wasn't- wait, hold on, okay, 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 I guess there is a single bisexual character in the show. Well, color me impressed, Hasbro, color me impressed. Before we move on to the next character, I feel as if it's worthwhile to note Rarity as a potential bisexual character. Once again, like earlier, I'm going to wait until later to tell you about her, because oh my god, it's even worse than Applejack and Rainbow Dash. 
Finally, the last letter is T for trans. I don't know when or if I'll ever be able to say this again, so I'm gonna say it here, but the trans flag is the best tasting looking flag. If the trans flag was turned into ice cream, I would be all over it. Whenever I see the trans flag, I can't help but wonder how it would taste. And anyways, a transgender person is someone whose gender identity differs from that typically associated with sex they were assigned at birth. And you guessed it, I stole that definition straight from Wikipedia. I'm on a roll today, a thieving roll. As for trans characters in My Little Pony, you'd actually be pretty surprised. Pretty much every MLP character has been headcanon and is being trans at one point or another, but there are a few that stick out. For one, if you've been in the MLP community, you've probably seen this image floating around. It depicts a pony named Carmel going through what appears on the surface as a MTF transition. But sorry to burst your bubble, horse friends, but this is total BS. Carmel is a background pony, and what you're seeing on the very far left is Carmel's first appearance in the Season 1 intro. For whatever reason, in this very specific circumstance, he is just a Big Mac recolor. Once again, only for the intro, and was even replaced by Big Mac in later seasons. The middle photo in this image is Carmel in literally every other example you can find of him, besides the three seconds he shows up in the season one intro. But this image presents him in a way that makes him seem less manly, I think, as to infer that he's going through some kind of therapy, which just isn't happening here. And the final one, the one that's supposed to depict Carmel fully transitioned, is just a completely different pony that only shows up once in the entire show. Her name is Toffee, and she's not Carmel. She shows up in season one's over Barrel as one of the town's inhabitants, while Carmel consistently shows up in Ponyville. It's infinitely more likely that Toffee is just Carmel's sister, or somehow related to him, than being his transition self, especially as she only shows up here once and is never seen again. This is season one we're talking about, guys. There's literally seven different recolors of derpy hooves in winter wrap-up. It's more likely the animators were simply pulling bits and colors out of a giant pool of assets. Or simply thought if they reused a design, nobody would notice. Sorry everyone, but there isn't any trans characters in My Little Pony. Not unless some sort of, oh, I don't know, creator of the show said otherwise. What about Lauren Foss tweet? Lauren Foss what? Lauren Foss does this really funny thing sometimes where she says something on Twitter and that's just enough of a breadcrumb trail to keep the brony fandom fed for like the next four years. One time in 2016, she dropped this cryptic tweet. It was in a long line of silly fake lore for My Little Pony, but she later came back and confirmed that this particular tweet wasn't a joke. Although, to be fair, it might have been a joke in itself. She says season one, which narrows it down quite a bit, if we're trying to guess his character. Carmel and Toffee are season one characters, so maybe by Lauren Foss' vision, Carmel actually is trans, but I think there's actually a much better fit for this category than anything else. She is a character from season one, which fits Lauren Foss' tweet. Lauren Foss said on the godforsaken site known as DeviantArt that Trixie was originally a boy. We don't have any development art of Trixie being a male character, as the oldest piece of development art of Trixie we have is this one here, which, I mean, Trixie could be Adrigginus here, but that's not why everyone thinks Trixie is trans. Trixie also has an error in her animation puppet. It was fixed in later seasons, but at least by season one, all of the mares in the show had two eye shines. And yes, I'm going there and no, you can't stop. Most of the stallions, however, only had one eye shine, even Spike. Take, for instance, Big Mac and Spike, one eye shine. Toffee has two eye shines. Now, before you leave a comment telling me that this theory is debunked because some stallions have two eye shines, yes, I know, but that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that while a lot of stallions do have two eye shines, no mares have one eye shine. No mares, of course, except for Trixie, the only mare who has one eye shine. It's just a really weird thing to mess up on, and in early seasons, Trixie only ever has one eye shine. It almost feels like, dare I even say it, intentional that Trixie only had one eye shine. Lauren Foss said that she envisioned one character being trans in her head. Who's to say that, especially back in season one, when practically the only speaking male character was either Spike or Big Mac, who both only had one eye shine, that Lauren Foss didn't give a little wink wink nudge nudge to a character designer to only give Trixie one eye shine. It's such a small, minute detail that's just so easy to miss, and therefore it can easily slip by the production. After all, with the animation errors we've seen in the show 
so far. Who's to say that a single eye shine wouldn't just slip by as well? I mean, come on. Look at Rainbow Dash. So that's the most commonly accepted trans headcanon in all of MLP. Trixie, all right. We're done with the letters, but that doesn't mean we're done with the gay horses. Have you noticed how every character I've talked about, he's either been a background or a secondary character? <laughs> oh boy. Let's get into the weeds of <laughs> main gay characters. Remember how earlier I kept alluding to Rarity, Applejack, and Rainbow Dash? Yeah, this is gonna be a long one. Like I said earlier, Rarity can possibly be a bisexual character. She's obviously very interested in having a knight in shining armor swoon her off her hooves, as seen in season one finales. But there's a very funny little one hour television spinoff released in 2018, which heavily featured both Applejack and Rarity. It's a little known thing called Roller Coaster of Friendship. Now, before you get the wrong ideas, there isn't anything romantic about the special. It's just two friends, Applejack and Rarity, who get a little emotionally separated from one another and eventually find each other again as best buds. But, oh my god, if you ever watch this special, it's just so weird! The entire time, and I mean the entire time, the special just feels like it's supposed to be about some kind of romantic relationship. There are just way too many moments that make you pause and think and just say, wait, this is supposed to be about friendship, right? It's almost like the people who made this had a Rarajack script ready to go, but upper management stomped on it and demanded it was changed to be about friendship instead. It just feels very friendship forced. Later, also in Equestria Girls, in yet another special called Spring Breakdown, Rarity meets a character named Ragamuffin, who is her love interest. And, I mean, I'm... I'm I'm just look at him. This is the most obvious Applejack stand-in I've ever seen in my entire life. And although Katrina Hadley, who is the co-director of that special, say that quote, he was a last-minute addition that showed up in the final draft. I still think something funny was going on behind the scenes. I almost genuinely want to think that Rare Jack was planned in the Equestria Girls universe, but for one reason or another, was canned. I think that just maybe Roller Coaster of Friendship was supposed to be about Rarity and. Applejack hooking up, and Spring Breakdown might have been their first official date, but Hasbro, or whatever gods work above, came in and stomped all over it. But as a counterpoint to my theory, Katrina Hadley, in the same Twitter thread in which I got that quote from, said this in relation to Rare Jack being in a roller coaster of friendship. We thought their conflict felt a little like lovers quarrel rather than a friend fight as written. So we played it that way but rode the line so the viewers could interpret it as either type of relationship. But internally, yeah, we were Rare Jack shipping. Maybe there wasn't a boot stomping on Rare Jack. Maybe it just wasn't destined to be that way. But let me believe! I wanna believe! Lastly is Applejack and Rainbow Dash. In the season nine finale, when Twilight summons the Friendship Council, Applejack and Rainbow Dash come in together, as if they were traveling together and are arguing about chores in the farm? What a strange thing for friends to be arguing about. It's never explicitly stated that they were dating or in some kind of relationship, but at this point, most of the fandom can agree that when Applejack and Rainbow Dash are arguing about chores, it's probably a little more than just friendship. All I'm saying is, if G4 were to ever come back, don't be mad that they aren't actually dating. But like, I would prefer if they were dating. <laughs> Thank you.